Hello bees! Welcome to this tutorial on using monogram cut SVG files. Today we are going to be working with the Cricut design space. Um, I've had lots of requests on how to use the monogram files ever since we put them out some time ago. So um, I'm going to show you how to make a lovely personalized monogram that you can either use for yourself or for a loved one. So um, we're going to start out. I have the Cricut Design Space open and I'm going to just create a new file here. And then I'm going to upload the images. Um, I'm sure like you, 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 I keep all of my files, um, obviously not within Cricut. So I'm going to go here to upload the images. And I am going to go to my monogram file. And this is exactly how they are going to show up, is um, when you download them and unzip them, you're going to see that you have um, all of the different letters as well as the frames. So um, my initials are E-A-H, so I am going to download those. And I'll go to the next one. And I'll go to the A. I'll say that. And then I will go here to the H. And I'll download that. And I have decided that I'm going to be using the Laurel frame a little bit different than some of the other monograms. Um, a lot of the other ones are circles or um, stars or some other type hearts and arrows, some other type of frame, but I'm going to use the laurel frame for this one. And when this comes up, you may notice that these are actually already all in my library. That's because this is my second attempt at this video. I, the first one wasn't quite exactly how I wanted it to be. So I'm sure this one won't be perfect either, but hopefully it will be a little better. So, um, and as you'll see in here, these are just some other um, video, uh, other SVG files that um, you can also download at parsby.com. Um, or from our website, facebook.com slash parsby. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this one, then I'm going to click the shift key, and I'm going to get all of the ones. Um, we're going to insert all of them at once, all one big pile there, and we'll just kind of separate them out. Um, now these are all perfectly sized um, to fit, you know, perfectly in the frame, the size they are right now. Now you can resize these to however big or however small you want them. Um, you'll just want to put everything together, resize it all together so that it stays um, in the right proportion. So um, how I like to do this, I'll start with E and um, all of the letters will be grouped together. So what you, first thing you're going to want to do is go to ungroup and ungroup them and then you can get rid of the two that you don't actually need for that letter. Um, this is just the way I like to do it because it keeps everything you know, really nice and tight. So then I put the A a, which is um, my middle name, Elizabeth Ann, uh, on there, and um, do the same thing. We'll ungroup these. Now the A is going to be on top, so I can just get it from there. There's the E, and then I'll take the A out, and then I will get my last name. It starts with an H, and kind of get that where we want it. And then same thing, just ungroup it. And then delete the H on either side. And voila, there it is. There's my monogram. Um, I think the E looks like it maybe it's a little further than I want it. So I'm just going to click that over just a little bit. So it's a little bit closer. And there it is, a perfect circle monogram. And um, what you'll find, like I said, is that when you then put the frame around it, it is going to be perfectly sized for the frame. So now that everything is together, we can kind of select everything. And then, like I said, you can make it really, really big um, if you want it, or you can make it really, really small if you're going to do some jewelry or something like that. 
so I'll just kind of keep mine this size. Now one thing that you'll see um, when you look at when you're going to cut it, you can, um, right now it's showing everything as a separate cut file. So what that means is that, uh, and in two different colors, it's showing the laurel frame a different color from um, all from the letters. So uh, like if I went go right now to cut it at this point, it's going to show that it's going to cut in two different colors and then it's going to, it does whatever it can to maximize your medium. So, um, you know, it's going to kind of throw everything up in the corner. Uh, that's not really ideal, um, especially when you are working with vinyl that you have to transfer. So um, what you can do then is if you uh, go in and um, I'm just going to take this, oops, I just want to take the laurel off a minute. Um, if you take these three together and then you can weld them, click the weld button here, and that puts them all into a file together so they'll cut exactly as it's shown. Um, it's still showing the laurel as um, the laurel frame as a different color. So um, uh, when you go to the um, when you go to cut it, what it's going to show is that the first frame, the first color you put in to cut is going to be the laurel frame, and then the second one is going to be the monogram, and that could be really, really pretty. Um, or if you just wanted it to just be all one file, then you can take and um, click on the uh, monogram and then shift click on the um, on the laurel frame and you can hit weld again and that makes it all one file so um, now you can and you can resize it you can do whatever you want um, but it's going to all stay together then and then when you go to um, cut it you'll see it just all cuts all in the same color as one file so I hope that's helped you, and I hope you can go out and just monogram everything um, with uh, your PARS B vinyls, um, your heat transfer vinyls, and uh, your gloss and matte vinyls, and um, just really have fun with it and make things for yourself and make things for your family and maybe make, make a business out of it. Um, until next time, this is Liz with PARS B, and uh, happy crafting.